we're creating a way to remove out the empty items within the array. So checking out how we can use the map and as well as the filter, which is the best option for cleaning up your array. We've got some falsy values such as zero, null, undefined, and false. So depending on if you want to keep those in the array, and we've got a bunch of empty items within the array where we don't have any values set for the item. So cleaning up the array and removing out the empty ones, I'm going to show you some different ways that you can do that in this lesson. Let's go ahead and create an array. So this array will be just called people. And within array, let's add in some values. So we've got some values within the array. And then we'll log out the array into the console. So save that. And there's the three items that we have within the array. Uh, so if we were to say the people array and then add an item at index value of 20, the length of the array now goes to 21. So we've got a bunch of empty items into the array. So what we want to do is we want to clean up the array and we'll create some new arrays with the values from the people array. So we can use the map method in order to loop through and select each one of the items and simply just return back that item if an item exists. And let's output the result for array one, number one. I'll show you some different methods that we can use. So right now it's coming back as all empty. So we want to only return back if the value of item is not null. So it comes back and we get the value of true being returned back. So we want to also just return back the item and only if the value is not null. So there's a way to do this with filter. We'll create a brand new array, so call it array2. And then take the people array and filter. And we want to filter on the boolean value of it. And return back the second array value. So that's going to return back just a cleaned up version of the array using filter to remove out all of the empty items within the array. So it doesn't matter how many additional empty items we add into the array it will simply just clean up those values and return back that cleaned up version of the array. So as we're mapping, we need to also have a condition here that we only want to return the item if it's not null. So let's update this condition and then do a return item. And that's if the item is not null. So that still returns back the item, but it still includes the empty values. So that's why filter is a much better option for this. You can also expand the filter. So that's the shortest way to do the filter. So you could also create a new array using the filter. And within the function, get the item. And then here, we can check to see, we can return back if the item is not null, that's going to create a new filtered array. So you can set that to array number three. And that will do the same thing. But this is a much shorter format to do this in. We can also check to see if the value, so if it's a string data type, then we return back the item. But either way, that the map is not going to work. So let's uh, try another way with array number four. And instead of the boolean, so output array number four into the console. And here let's uh, filter it using the string. So that as well provides you a way to clean up the filtered content. Removing any extra items. So this will also remove out the different data types so I've added in a zero and a null and an undefined when we, and also let's add in a value of false. And we see that within number 15, when we filter with the string, we still end up returning back using within the filter. So we've got the zero, the null, the undefined and false. So as long as there's a value, the filter with the string is going to return all of those values back. In number 14, line number 14, 
we have the zero and the false. And that's where we're checking to see if it's not equal to null. So it's only removing out the null and the empty values. If we're using the filter with the Boolean, this is going to be returning back the best result because that's also going to be removing out the zero, the false, the null, and the undefined. So that returns back the best result. Still returning back all of those values. So the map at all is not working in order to filter out. It's still keeping all of those values there that's being returned back. And if we change this to checking to see if the item exists, it's going to return back undefined for the ones that had falsy values. So that included the value of zero, null, and undefined. So it just simply turned all of those into undefined when it created the new array, which was array one being returned back from the map. The option is to use the filter. If you want to remove out any of the falsy values, then you can bo use Boolean. If you want to keep the falsy values in, then you can use string, and this will return back and keep all of the values that are currently within the array.